Have you ever wished Excel could be a little smarter? Imagine selecting an option from a drop-down list, and like magic, another list updates automatically based on your choice. Well today, I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. You'll learn how to create a dependent drop-down list, which means when you select something like fruits or vegetables or meats, then another list will change accordingly. And by the end of this video, you'll have a fully working system that updates automatically, saving you tons of time. So let's get started. First things first, let's get organized. We don't want a messy spreadsheet, right? So let's create a separate sheet to store our list. Click on the plus sign at the bottom of Excel to add a new sheet. Now let's rename it. Just right click on the sheet name, select rename, and type something like lists simple. Now in the sheet, we are going to create our main categories. Let's say we have three types of data, fruits, vegetables, and meat. In column B, type fruits in the first row. When right below it, start listing different types of income sources like apple, banana, orange, now let's move over to column D and do the same thing for vegetables. Type vegetables at the top and then add items like carrot, broccoli, and spinach. And for the third list, move to F1 and type meats. Then add items like chicken, beef, and fish. Since we have three separate lists, it's a good idea to leave an empty column between them. Think of it like no man's land to keep everything from getting tangled up. Right now, we have just plain text, but Excel is more powerful when we turn these lists into tables. First, select all the items under fruits, including the header. Then, go up to the Insert tab and click Table. A box will pop up asking if your table has headers, make sure to check that box because fruits is our header. Now Excel has officially recognized this as a structured table. Woohoo! To make it even better, let's rename this table. Click anywhere inside it, go to table design at the top and you'll see a box that says table name. Right now it probably says something like table 1. Let's change that and type fruits. Now do the exact same thing for the vegetables list and the meats list. Select everything under vegetables, then insert a table. Check the headers box and click OK. Alright, rename the table to vegetables. I will follow the same steps for the meats. And just for fun, let's add some color to the design table. Maybe blue for fruits, green for vegetables, and orange for meats. Also, I will increase the zoom level to 150%. And remove the grid lines. Great! Now that our data is looking sharp, let's create the first drop-down list. Go back to the main sheet where you want the drop-down to appear. Click on the cells where you want to select fruits, vegetables, or meats. So I'll highlight the cells from B2 to B16. Now go up to the Data tab and find Data Validation. A box will pop up. Under Allow, choose List. In the source box, type fruits, comma vegetables, comma meats. Click OK, and boom! You now have a working dropdown where you can pick either fruits or vegetables or meats. And now for the real magic trick. Now that we can select fruits, vegetables, or meats, 
we want the next drop down list to change automatically based on what we pick. Click on the next cell, where you want the second drop down list to appear, let's say C2. Go back to data validation just like before. Choose list again, but this time, instead of typing values manually, we're going to use a little Excel wizardry. In the source box, type equal indirect B2 in parenthesis. What this does is tell Excel, hey, whatever is selected in B2, look for a matching table with that name and use it as the list. The indirect function helps Excel look at a text value and treat it as a cell reference or a named range. This means Excel can dynamically find values without needing fixed references. Think of it like a GPS for Excel. It takes the name of a location, cell, or range and directs Excel there, even if the actual reference changes. Click OK, and now your dependent dropdown is alive and kicking. One of the best things about setting up your dropdowns this way is that they update automatically. Need to add a new fruit? Just go to the list sheet, type a new entry in the fruits table and hit enter. For example, avocado. Excel will instantly update everything. The same goes for the vegetables and the meats. If you need to remove something, just right click the row and select delete. No manual updates, no extra effort, just smooth automation. Excel is doing the heavy lifting for you. And that's it. You now have a fully functional dependent drop down list that updates automatically. No more endless scrolling or manually typing in categories. This technique is a game changer for budgeting, tracking expenses, or organizing any kind of categorized data. If this tutorial made your Excel life a little easier, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. And if you have any questions or funny Excel fails you want to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.